Hi, my name is Willie, and in this video, we're going over the more or less finished rear mower. Hope you enjoy. This is all the grass I cut with this rear mower. Now, with just the tractor by itself, it takes me about three hours. And I'll give you an idea on scale is you could fit a car in, in that gap over there. So, it doesn't even take me half as long when I have this rear mower. It knocks it out pretty darn quick, which is nice. This is why we built it. So now I'm done cutting grass. It's going to be time to clean this thing up and I'll show you how it all comes unhitched and I'll talk about this new piece of steel. Tell though, but that is a 48 inch deck and that's only a 44. And that's an overhead valve and this is a flathead, so there's always going to be differences. So hang on and I'll show you how we unhitch it and clean it. As for undoing the hitch, you just un unthread this nut comes off and then that's just a trailer plug just unplugs I set that right here just lifts up I got one pin here slide that pin out that goes down here stick that pin back in Stick that in the slot. You ready? Ta da! I thought it was pretty neat. Actually, I should say, I think it's pretty neat. That gives me plenty of room under here to clean out all this grass. Also gives you a chance to get up under there and grease that if you wanted to, or spray it down with some grease or oil so it doesn't rust. So I'm going to go grab a microfiber cloth. I'll be right back. These microfiber cloths are nice as for getting the grass off you. I usually keep one tucked away on my steering wheel. I'm going to see if I can't get a different angle on this thing. That's the hairpin that holds the one piece in. And here's the bolt that it clips into. It's got a nut and a washer. So let me uh, pick this up. I need two hands for that and I'll show you how it comes undone. Okay, all this is is a, a bolt and a washer and a bushing. See if I can't get an angle on that. See the washer acts as a flange. It does not want to focus. There we go. I ground the edges of the nut down so it would stick in a little bit better. We'll stick that in the hole and that holds it. it usually works pretty good. I just get it to line up just right and it comes right apart. And not so easy with one hand. And this piece folds up on top here, right in that slot. And that same bolt goes in this pin, or this hole here, to keep this from popping out of place. So let me bring that up here. <clears throat> Gotta pop that pin out here. See, we got all these pins that line up. It's hard to see in the, the shade. See that bolt goes in that hole. And that bolt goes in that hole. That locks everything in place. You take your hairpin, which is only one, and it goes inside of that bolt right there. And that holds everything. 
I was gonna try and record it while I was building it, but it's I was on and off of it so many times, so it's hard to kind of do that. So hope that makes sense, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna move on with cutting grass, and if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and have a good day. Thanks for watching, and bye.